All right, good afternoon. It is Sunday and it's time to talk global weather. Thanks for clicking on to the 42nd edition of the Global Weather and Climate Report. Hope everybody is having a good day and a good weekend so far. This is uh, the May temperature normally so far of weatherbell.com. This is off the CDAS data. And you can see here we have got one very distinct area of warmth sticks out on the global map and that is across northern portions of north america where we've seen record breaking temperatures uh, from the pacific northwest of the united states up through uh, british columbia alberta into yukon uh, northwest territories and nunavut territory where we've seen um you know temperatures into the you know upper 20s even way up into the subarctic region of canada and uh, so yeah very very impressive level of warmth for this time of the year of course uh, cool compared to average across most of alberta southern quebec and the southeastern and eastern portion of canada the eastern portion of north america as well the united states should I say but look at the level of cool this is really striking actually considering the amount of of heat records that are full and i'll, I'll show you that in just a second feels like week in and week out all i'm talking about in the global weather report is about record breaking uh, temperatures and that has been the case especially southeastern asia where the temperatures have been reaching new benchmarks like such as thailand vietnam myanmar uh, cambodia where we've been seeing temperatures into the 40s and reaching uh, you know new precipices in terms of temperature but look at the amount of chill especially across western portions of china it looks as if this would probably be the lowest the coldest anomaly uh, anywhere on the planet across western portions of china but of course many media sources would certainly not have you see that uh, you know most of, a large swathe of northern portions of africa um has uh, seen a cool month so far and that has been the case if you go back to uh, the month of April, very similar, cooler than average for most of the continent. Even in the, the March was warmer than average, as you can see here. Um, and look at how warm the planet was uh, compared to average anyway during the month of March versus what we've seen, sp uh, particularly so across uh, Eurasia and Africa and Australia during April and then during the month of May. It has been significantly cooler than the month of March. Uh, which is quite interesting uh, to point out. Looking at Europe specifically, and you can see here that we continue with this fairly cool month across most of the continent, uh, with the exceptions of Spain and Portugal, but we're really seeing the temperatures coming down even here. Gone is the record breaking heat, and we're seeing rainfall flooding in local areas, especially with the ongoing drought. That's a significant flip around taking place. Uh, the UK is warmer than average, uh, as, as well as Ireland. Most of Europe, like I say, below average. It's been a, a pretty horrible spring, actually, for many central areas of the continent. And, of course, we only have to look back at the past week to see what's happened in Italy. We'll look at that in a little bit more detail in just a second here. But it has been a cool uh, spring, as well as uh, May, through at least the first half anyway of the month and speaking of the rains across europe we are going to be seeing more heavy rainfall now there's been not one but two possibly even three storm systems that have hit italy in the the last couple of weeks we've seen of course uh, people with um, that have been killed upwards of 11 people i believe and some media sources are saying 11 people killed people uh, killed by drowning in their own homes uh, I heard one report of a woman uh, being pushed downstream on a river upwards of 12 miles before her body was finally discovered, I believe, in trees or, or whatnot. So a very tragic story unfolding in Italy. And of course, climate change has been attributed to that, as was the case last year when we were seeing the rivers running dry. And of course, you can have your own opinion with regards to whether it's man-made climate change or natural climate change or whatever, or the fact that it's not happening at all. You could deny that. I personally don't, I'm not denying that the earth is warming, but you know my overall opinion with regards to the cause of that warming. Uh, looking at the UK, much drier overall uh, 
period, the next week to 10 days, very little, if any, rain in parts of England and Wales. What a turnaround that is compared to what we've seen this spring so far. Further north, we had a fairly significant spell of heavy rainfall yesterday here at the house at Marvogan HQ, uh, where we've seen um, about seven millimetres of rain falling uh, over the span of late afternoon and the early portion of the evening. But uh, a lot more rain still to come, particularly so the Mediterranean basin, as you can see here. And uh, we will have a little bit more rain across the, the vast majority of mainland Europe. Uh, some pretty wet conditions, as you can see here, across parts of Russia. Uh, before we continue to get into the video, if you haven't already done so, check out Richie on tour. If you're interested in supercars, real estate, or indeed private jets, helicopters, uh, a lot of cool stuff here on um, uh, Richie Gupta's page. Um, so I will leave a link in the description below. Check that out. Give him a sub if you're interested in stuff like that. I will be hoping to meet this guy uh, who has just recently bought the Kincraig Castle Hotel up near Invergordon in Rosshire. Beautiful four-star hotel. I do encourage you, if you happen to be in this general area, check it out and, uh, you know, perhaps stay there for a night or two and enjoy the Highland hospitality. So, uh, like I say, he's just recently purchased the Kincraig Castle Hotel, uh, a fabulous location in the north of Scotland, right on the North Coast 500, may I add, so check that out and check out Richie on tour if you're interested in stuff like that. Also, my good friend Gavin Partridge um, has just released his final summer forecast um, and, and uh, video update before he releases his actual summer forecast, I believe, next week. So that uh, update, that uh, 11th update for the summer 2023 has just been updated and published on his YouTube channel. So check that out. Give Gavin a subscribe a subscription as well. Um, and uh, yeah, there is also going to be a charity live stream next Sunday night. That is between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. And uh, I do encourage you to check that out next Sunday as well. I will certainly be advertising that uh, through the upcoming week. So anyway, let's get into the finer details of what's been going on. Like I say, um, this is Gavin's uh, charity uh, appeal for the Rainbows Hospice. Uh, it is in memory of his mum who sadly passed away around about this time last year. So uh, Gavin's um, wanting to raise some money for the Rainbows Hospice based in his local area of Northampton. So give that a, a check out. He's going to have uh, several guests speaking in that live stream next week, myself being included. Um, but it's not about me. It is about Gavin and raising money for the Rainbows Hospice. Anyway, interesting tweet I've seen this morning from London and Southeast Weather. Uh, it looks as if London is lagging behind significantly in terms of the temperature this spring. This is the uh, temperatures for the spring season at Heathrow Airport quite often a typical hotspot, especially close to the tarmac at the at, at Heathrow Airport. Quite often, this station can read some fairly warm temperatures uh, anywhere in the UK. But notice here that the the maximum at Heathrow so far this year is a measly twenty one point four Celsius, and that lags behind, uh, you know, pretty much every year, uh, without fail. And of course, the UK maximum of 22.6 Celsius is the lowest for this late in season since at least 1985, according to Sharon Bruin. So, uh, yeah, we continue to await the uh, arrival of true summer warmth. Now, of course, we continue with the uh, significant contrast across Europe. As you can see here, this is a tweet by Maximiliano Herrera, or extreme temperatures around the world. Exceptionally cold day in parts of Italy. So this is 21 hours ago just where we've seen the temperatures struggling to get above 15 Celsius in parts of southern Europe with low pressure, rain, thunderstorms and of course the tragic situation that is unfolding. Meanwhile, we're seeing temperatures as high as 29 in Moldova, Ukraine, European Russia, 28 degrees in Hungary, Slovakia and indeed Romania. Europe as a whole is very cold for the second half of May, as you can see here. Temperatures running a good two to four Celsius below the 91 to 2020 
average. This is um, uh, another tweet here, as you can see here. Very, very impressive chill indeed. Temperatures stuck in single figures in southern portions of Poland, eastern Czech Republic, northern Slovakia in recent days. Meanwhile, we've got 26 degrees above the Arctic Circle in Russia uh, and European Russia at that. The Dutch island of, uh, of uh, um, Saba rose to 32.4 Celsius, hottest May Day on record. So we're seeing plenty of heat records being broken, like I say. But the fact when you look at the CDAS data, and there's a lot of areas that are running below average for the month. So it is a deceiving one seeing all these records breaking. But yet the backdrop is, believe it or not, below average. Uh, Okinawa and um, Amame entered the rainy season Thursday. The rest of the nation saw unusual heat. So the tropical island of Okinawa uh, is now turning cooler and wetter, probably more humid, of course, as a result of the weather conditions. But 52 stations in Japan recorded as hot as May Day on record temperatures as high as 36 degrees Celsius. Bear in mind, we still are only in May, so that's impressive stuff. Last couple of nights, uh, this is, of course, going back to the, to the past week. And some very, very chilly temperatures indeed in parts of Germany were even down close to, you know, what, 71 metres above sea level. Temperatures down to minus 1.6 Celsius. Six stations uh, at low elevation recorded frost, including Hanover in Germany. The northeastern half of the United States, even though we're talking about a lot of heat records falling in the west and northern portions of the continent, we've also been seeing some remarkable Cold temperatures in the northeast United States, a late spring cold um, provided some light frost and even some record low temperatures uh, for so late in the season. 16 degrees Fahrenheit recorded at Saranac Lake, of course a typical cold spot here in the northeastern half of the United States. And we did see uh, other cold temperatures including 34 degrees Fahrenheit at New, uh, New Haven in Connecticut. So very impressive stuff. Uh, Australia, we're seeing some impressive cold. Uh, today, 19th of May, Griffith in New South Wales dropped to minus 2.3, which is a new record low for the month of May. Remember, I spoke last week about the cold in parts of Queensland. We also said, seen another station uh, recording um, close minus 2.6. So it was close to the record here um in parts of new south wales very very hot conditions in central portions of america so the central america region of the world recording record breaking daytime highs as well as record warm nights temperatures no lower than 27.6 in parts of costa rica and we also had an overnight minimum of uh, our, a record high i think of 38 um in parts of colombia um in the north the far north of south america very very impressive contrast very chilly conditions in northwest africa morocco libya seeing uh, or should i say morocco and algeria libya had a high temperature of 42 celsius while we had at 1000 meters above sea level a uh, a place called satif in uh, northern algeria recorded a temperature of just seven degrees celsius so what a contrast in a relatively short distance. Of course, sea level, uh, the, the height above sea level, of course, counts dramatically. But uh, very interesting how, how contrasting the, uh, the, the temperatures are in this region of the world. Record breaking heat has been very chilly across parts of Alaska, but we had the hottest day in May for parts of Alaska at 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, Central America talking about some very, very hot conditions. Thailand, week after week, we're seeing record-breaking heat. A lot of that's to do with the Manjulian Oscillation being in a, 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 sink, a large-scale sinking over southeastern Asia. So therefore, we've been seeing some uh, very, very hot conditions, drier than average also. Uh, Death Valley recorded a temperature of uh, 45 Celsius, the hottest of the year so far here. And uh, Jakubabad in in Pakistan, as well as Dadu, it recorded a new Northern Hemisphere record for 2023 at 48 degrees Celsius. Remember, recent years we have seen temperatures reach close to 50 at this time of the year. Uh, and heavy frost for the first time, temperatures dropping below minus 10 in parts of, uh, of Argentina. Temperatures also recording 
uh, 41 in southeastern China. Ran out of time as per usual. Please like, please share with your friends and family and hit that subscribe button.